What is up, folks? Professor Pickles here coming at you with a Lost Cowards of Excellent gift edition bundle. Today we're going to be answering the uh, age-old question of is it worth it to buy one of these? Obviously that depends on what you pull, but we'll take a look at what comes inside and kind of compare it to the regular bundle and everything. And uh, starting off with this little poster. Okay. We also have an arena code to give away. If you'd like to be entered to win that, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and let me know what your favorite uh, card in this set is. Really cool box, actually. I like this one a lot. Alrighty, we have our packs, which you'll be getting into. You get eight set packs and one collector pack in this. Cool little punch outs. Take a look at our dice, my favorite part. Very cool, it's like um, like an amber dice. And we got a 11. Okay, not bad. Now it is gonna be the same packs as, uh, it looks like for our Jurassic Park card, we got a land. Always, uh, always nice to see. Oh no! It's a it's a they gave you the interesting. I don't did did did, did you get the uh, these lands in the regular bundle? I don't think so. Okay, so that's different. Are we also going to get the foil versions of these, or what will these be? Okay, so we did get a cresting. It's foil, Mosa Mosaurus. <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, yeah, regular foil lands here. I don't think you got the uh, full art basics though in the regular bundle. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Go watch my video on that. Okay, so we have the collector pack and eight set packs. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. I'm not going to really, <coughs> excuse me, worry about piles here today. My Thrashing Brontodon and Abuelo's Awakening with a foil final strike. All right, a lot of white and blue here. Ooh, very nice. An Oger, the red one. Very cool. Showcase with another Oger. Wow, double Oger pack. Wow, that is a good pack. The blue Oger in regular artwork. Okay, wow. Two great packs in a row here. Well, the first one, not really, but that one made up for the first one, for sure. I've liked this set a lot so far in terms of like draft and all that. Deep Root Pilgrimage and a Whale of the Forgotten with a Storm Kiln Artist. <clears throat> Man. Sorry, I'm just getting over a cold here, folks, and still have the cough. We have a Millennium Calendar, another mythic. Not an amazing one. I don't think it's seeing too much play as of right now, but hey, you know. Mythic, nonetheless. Another one of the lands there. Got a Nick Hansel, an Admiral for the Commander Mythic. Very nice. Oh, a Roaming Throne. Very nice. Most expensive rare in the set. Huge. And a Restless Ridgeline. In any other set, you know, you'd be happy you got the land cycle, but... I don't know, they really have them in too many new lands that have come out and been expensive. I guess like the, the, the Tri-Lands, whatever they're called, kind of are, are up there, depending on which one. Okay, we have a Capricotti Sunborn, a great, <coughs> great door, and nothing. I mean, that uh, showcase, those Ogers and that showcase uh, Roaming Throne, I mean, that makes up a lot of cost of, the, of, the, of this. Of an NT. Did we get a? We did not. Okay. And last pack before we get into the collector pack. Ooh, that's a really cool artwork. And we got a land. Zoya Echoing Deeps. Oh, we got the artwork that I said was cool. Interesting. That is a really fun artwork. And a Amalia with nothing. All right, let's see what we can do with this collector booster. Ooh, it's hard to open. You know what that means. <coughs> I'm just hoping for a mana crypt, I guess, right? Isn't that what everybody wants? All right. Here is our land. We have a dinosaur, a braided net, Queen's Bay, 
Skeleton Crew, Quatly. I mean, it's not terrible. It is a mythic. I don't think it's seen too much play as of right now, but I won't complain. A mountain and an end me. All right, well, um, the, the regular packs were better than the collector pack probably, but can't complain, not a bad box. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.